What's going on guys, it's Russ, and in today's video I wanted to go over the exotic wither horde plus its catalyst. I have grinded an extreme amount to get this catalyst completed and I want to tell you guys all about it. So if you don't know what the wither horde does, it's a grenade launcher that essentially shoots taking blights out. It has the perk primeval's torment. Projectiles fired by this weapon blight the target or nearby area on impact. Plus it has break the bank, blighted targets take damage over time, and blight the nearby area on death. So the way this gun works, essentially you shoot the ground and it's going to form this taking blight that's going to do a damage over time. And and it actually has a good bit of damage or you can shoot an enemy directly and it's going to do a damage over time and if that enemy dies it's also going to drop that blight now the damage over time actually is more if you direct impact an enemy than if you just shoot it on the ground so i would always advise to try to shoot the enemy to do more damage so a smart thing you can do with this gun it's essentially pair it with any other power weapon swords work really well when you're going up against a boss shoot the wither horde on the boss and then swap to the sword and just go to town those two combinations paired together do a lot of damage and if you know anything about the anarchy mountain top combo this is essentially essentially that but a lot easier to get so the catalyst you have to get 50 vault keys which is just getting grenade launch kills that's not that hard to do but then you have to get 300 points by completing activities in the game such as strikes crucible gambit 100 pvp grenade launcher kills and 200 multi kills in pve the 200 multi kills is not that hard to do and the 100 kills in pvp is not extremely hard to do especially if you have something like mountaintop the fighting line also works really well as for completing the matches it's going to take you around 100 if you have every single thing in the season pass so at rank 11 in the season pass it it doubles your progression towards that quest step and then rank 22 it triples the progression towards the quest step so what you probably all came here for is to figure out what the catalyst actually does and what it does as you can see in the handling bar it increases handling to max and it makes the gun very snappy to use and it also adds auto loading holster to the gun which in return is going to make the combo a lot easier so now this is going to allow you to shoot swap really quick over to a sword or any other power weapon start doing damage with that the auto loading holster is going to reload the gun you can swap back really quick with the handling shoot another one one and keep repeating it over and over again this is a very good catalyst for the weapon as the reload speed for the gun was extremely poor and i was hoping that either this was going to happen or they were going to increase the reload speed but this works out a whole lot better for the combo that you can pull off with this gun and other power weapons overall i would rate the wither horde as a very good pve weapon to use it can act clear very well it can do a lot of dps if you use it right and pair it with certain power weapons and it is overall a very fun gun to use now pvp this catalyst also helps out being able to just handle the gun faster and have an auto loading holster is just going to reload the gun every time you pick special ammo up which is also really good but in pvp this thing is more annoying than it is viable in my personal opinion but if you like just holding gaps and closing areas off and preventing shotgun rushers but this plus the catalyst is going to help you out an insane amount and you'll have tons of fun with it but that's going to be this video guys i really hope you enjoy be sure to get this catalyst as soon as you can and get it completed because it, it does benefit this weapon greatly but that's going to be it for me guys thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next one Peace.